Welcome to the new Outlook web app. Let's have a look at some of the differences with this version of email. Let's start with folders. You can create and store email items in subfolders. An arrow next to a folder indicates that there are subfolders below. Clicking the arrow expands the folder displaying the subfolders contained within. Like the old version of Outlook, you can still drag and drop items from your inbox into your subfolders. Now, let's look at the messaging pane. Notice that some messages in your inbox have arrows to the left of them. This is because the default view is to have emails with the same subject grouped together. To see a full history of the ongoing conversation, click the arrow to the left of the subject heading. It will expand and show all messages. This is very familiar to users who have used Gmail or have iPhones or iPads. If you prefer to disable this view, simply click the drop-down arrow next to Conversation by Date and select Off from the displayed menu. All of your messages will be displayed separately. Another new feature is the ability to quickly filter messages that are unread. Clicking Unread from the menu bar displays only those messages that have yet to be read. Unread items always have a colored line to their left. To return to the default view, click the All button. The reading pane found on the right always displays the message selected in the message pane. The reading pane gives users quick access to the most common message functions. If you are looking for additional options, click the ellipses and a drop-down message appears, allowing you to print the message, delete the message, or open the message in a new window. For users who prefer to have their email messages open in a new window, double-clicking a message from the message pane opens it in a new window. Here you also have access to the most common functions, and clicking the ellipses presents additional options. Similarly, to see all of your options with an email in the message window, right-click your mouse, and all of the available options will be displayed in a quick menu. When creating a new message, if you are sending an email to a contact to which you have previously communicated, their name will be displayed in the drop-down list as you type or you can search the company directory by clicking the search button. Notice that the spell check button is no longer available on the messaging toolbar. That is because all modern web browsers now have a built-in spell check function, so when you type a word incorrectly, it will be underlined in red. To correct a misspelled word, right-click on the underlined word and select the correct word from the displayed list. If misspelled words are not underlined, you should upgrade your browser. Again, in the new message window, the most popular messaging options are displayed on the menu bar. You can insert attachments, pictures, or your signature, or click the ellipses to add the BCC field, set messaging importance, or request a read receipt. There are even additional options on the formatting toolbar that allow you to insert links or use superscripts or subscripts. And look at this wonderful feature. If you are sending an email that is meant to have an attachment, but you forget to attach the file, when you go to click Send, you are reminded that you may have forgotten to attach the file. The search option in Outlook is also very powerful. Simply type a search term into the search box, select the scope of your search, and choose whether the search term is a keyword or an individual. All search terms are highlighted in the results area to make it easier to find the items you are looking for. When done, click the X to return to your inbox. A few more things. If you click your name in the top right corner of the screen, you can add or change your profile picture that will be seen by internal Peel employees when they receive an email from you. Additional options can be found by clicking the cog in the top right corner of the screen. Here you can set your out of office message, configure display settings, or click options to configure things like your signature or default font type. That's it for now. We hope you enjoy the features and functionality of this new version.